okay, probably we can talk about Chinese tourists when it comes to Mr. Xi from uh, China. Now, I know China as a tourist destination as far as your inbound is concerned, uh, you're talking about world's number three or coming to number two already, so I don't think we need to talk too much about the inbound tourism into China. Uh, but as far as the outbound Chinese traffic is concerned, Mr. Xi, would you like to share with the Spanish audience here what would be the latest consumer behavior of Chinese travelers when they travel abroad? Because according to the latest figure, maybe I will let you, you share the, the figures to, to the Spanish audience. Okay, thank you, Mr. Xi Jin. Thanks, uh, distinguished guests. Uh, at first, I'd like to tell you how many Chinese abroad, uh, tourists abroad. Uh, last year it was 8 million China, China outbound travelers to abroad. Eight, now this is 8 million. Yes. With the 15% increase in last year, uh, uh, I also said, uh, said uh, Mr. Xi Jin, but uh, I also want to take a uh, few minutes to introduce the Chinese inbound tourists because uh, uh, it is also important for both of us. It is, uh, it is good for you to, to understand China. That is, uh, at first, uh, the last year we have received one, 140,000 Spanish tourists to China last year. It was slight, went down, with 3% went down. But we also confidence uh, of that figures because this is a very difficult time with this international finance crisis. So we can keep a, a, a lot of Spanish tourists to China. I am very comfortable. Uh, for most of them, they always like to visit China uh, major cities, not only because this is traditional uh, tourist routes. Uh, for example, the big cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Xi'an, Guangzhou, and Guilin. And also, um, most of them are interested in uh, Lhasa Tibet. Uh, for us, we have the new, two new ideas to uh, at all uh, Spanish tourist occasions uh, to China. But this means one year we want the Spanish friends to visit some other Chinese cities, for example, to south or southwest of China, that is in, in three provinces like Yunnan, Sichuan, and Guizhou provinces. And, uh, and we would like to them to go Silk Road in northwest northwest areas of China, and we want to the peoples to go to Shuzhou, Hangzhou, or some other um, popular cities. This is one my one of my our my ideas. Another thing is uh, we also like to to attractive. Uh, Spanish special interest in tourists to China. That is, for example, some people like Chinese Kung Fu. Uh, we want to them to go to Henan province, uh, to Tenjia Gao for Tai Chi, Chinese Tai Chi, to Shaolin Temple for Shaolin Kung Fu. This is, uh, I think, because uh, we, we know that the most of Ch uh, Spanish people do like Chinese Kung Fu. Uh, uh, some other people also some uh, special uh, interest. For example, some people like to uh, taste Chinese cuisine and Chinese tea as well. So we most welcome them to China to uh, face the every uh, the interesting. Uh, the, the 
Second, I would like to introduce uh, the Chinese outbound tourist uh, market uh, in Britain. Uh, as I said, this is a big country with the uh, China is a big country with the two uh, with the uh, 13.5 billion uh, population in total. Uh, last year we have the uh, zero zero uh, eight zero million uh, the travelers outside. And last year we we have the figures from from China to Spain. Uh, the travelers the first first stop travelers it was the. 100, 150, more than 150,000 uh, Chinese uh, to, tourists to Spain as the first stop. But why I like to say this is the first stop, that is means there's people, just less Chinese, just come from China to Sp Spain directly, and not including some people, some Chinese uh, after uh, visit some other countries, for example, France, Germany, UK, or some other countries, and then come to Spain. This is not including. Another thing is that they're not including some Chinese people who live in the outside, means live some, some other countries. This figure is not included. So we, we think about that, calculate about that, if we calculate everybody's come to. Uh, Chinese come to Spain, it was three or four times of that figures. It is means not last year, it was, it was 400 million, uh, 400,000 Chinese come to Spain last year, went to Spain last year. And I have, uh, I have shared the experience with our uh, Chinese tourists. They do like uh, Spanish, they like Spanish very much, very, very much because uh, they are enjoying the Spanish food. They like to go to the Spanish cities. Most of them to, to like to the seat break, for example, to uh, they come to Madrid, to Barcelona, Sevilla, Malaga, or some other cities. But uh, most of them they have very tight itinerary to in Spain. In Spain, so uh, one of the uh, one of the biggest the favorite for Chinese people the, it is shopping. So most of uh, I'm I met most of Chinese tourists the when shopping the big shopping they have. So this is very important. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not very sure I, I'm answering Mr. Xi Jinping's questions. You have answer. very well uh, covered uh, what I intended to, to have you to cover, Mr. Xi. Uh, but let's think from a different angle. Look at our theme or the organizers of today. Not only we have Seki Tour, what I did not mention is we also have the Spanish Export and Investment Bureau. Now, when you think about export, you always think about physical products to be exported out of your country. Now take China for example. We're talking about outbound into Spain. Does that have anything to do with export of services? I think it does. Think about the shopping items. For instance, in Madrid, Chinese travelers are now flooding the shopping area of Serrano the shopping area where I live, at the village uh, the La in Las Rosas, but that is marginally related to tourism investment. What about hotel accommodation? What about operation of travel agencies? They are basically non-existent, catering especially for uh, the Chinese travelers. This is a unique form of tourism export that will be conducted within your own country. Why I'm saying so? I'm saying so because the Japanese, when they flooded into the rest of the world in the 80s, they followed with the investment of Nikko hotels. When the Koreans traveled around the world, they followed with their hotels of Hyundai and all the rest of it. 
So far, the Chinese have not followed with their own hotel 